Darlene Southworth is a mycologist. She studies mushrooms and truffles. She's helped to discover five new species, including Satharella aquatica, an underwater mushroom. There are dozens of them every year, and we've seen them every year since 2005. So we know that they live here, but we don't know that they live anywhere else. The mushroom is only visible for a few months in late summer. Every year, Southworth gets together a group of volunteers. In hip waders and on hands and knees, they search the Rogue River and its tributaries for Satharella aquatica. So the cap is about the size of a dime, maybe a little smaller, and it's uh, pale white to pink tan. They seem particularly brave and courageous. They're stiffer, I think, than your everyday mushroom. They seem to like the current. They brave the current. Every other gilled mushroom in the world grows on land and disperses its spores into the air to reproduce. It's really the first report of a gilled mushroom. This is a mushroom that looks like something you would buy in Safeway and put on pizza. It's a little brown mushroom with gills and it's growing underwater. And that was odd from the beginning. Aquatica was discovered by pure chance. In 2005, one of Southworth's colleagues was on a picnic with his family. He noticed mushrooms growing in the riverbed. Southworth's lab spent five years collecting samples. They analyzed a fingerprint region of the mushroom's DNA and found it was a new species. Southworth can't explain how this mushroom adapted to grow in streams, but there are clues. The mushroom caps form an air bubble underneath them. The spores are discharged right into that. So the mushroom itself is underwater, but the mushroom creates a terrestrial mini environment in this air bubble. That tells us that it's not very well adapted to life underwater, or that it's recently adapted to life underwater. So far, Southworth has only found two populations of the mushroom in the same mile stretch of the Rogue River. It could be growing almost anywhere, she says, and she needs volunteers to help with the search. We're thinking cold streams that are not flowing too fast so that the silt drops and some of the dead wood that's coming down drops. People should be looking on Mount Hood, all up and down the spine of the Cascades. Where would that bring us? The Sierra Nevada, I think, would be a reasonable place to look. The Alps and the Andes. And wherever there's fast-running cold water, have a look and call us. <laughs>